The Hollyland Lark Mark II comes in at an almost unbelievable price point of $139 when you consider all of the accessories and you compare that to the DJI Mic 2, which is $350. So for $200 less, you are getting almost undiscernible audio quality and a bunch of more, I think, user-friendly accessories for filming, recording, and everything else that you're doing. But let's do some quick comparisons, all right? With the DJI Mic 2, this is the receiver unit. You've got the cold shoe mount. It's completely like locked in there. You can't remove that. You do have an OLED or a touch screen, which is nice. I think it's OLED. And you've got the scroll wheel plus the press button. And then you have the ability to monitor the audio. If you're someone that needs to be able to monitor your audio, then that is very important. So make sure you're considering that. When it comes to connecting the DJI Mic 2 to other uh, like iPhones or things like that, other devices, you do have the option to run the connection point right here. I do like this. I think it's nice that they've built that right into the receiver. However, uh, you don't always, I don't use that very often. So this is actually not something that is a huge deal for me. I have found that I very rarely use the USB-C or the Lightning. I'll probably never use again because I've moved up to USB-C. So that's something to consider. They gave you space for that in here, but it's really unnecessary space unless you use that option. And the Lark option went with those two little receivers, okay, but they just sit in the back. So whenever you need them, you can get them, but they're not part of the main unit, which allows them to keep this a lot smaller. And I kind of like that. When we compare the two receivers, this is what you are getting in size difference. I don't think this matters because the way the where where you would place this and how you would use this, having it smaller isn't a big deal. But I guess it's nice that it's smaller. You do get the little clip for this one, so that's a plus. Um, but there is no audio monitoring, and you only get three levels for this guy. You get low, medium, and high. And those are things to consider if you're thinking about getting these. Again, I think the main difference for these are going to be the ability to monitor the audio, and maybe you like the ability to just run through settings faster on this, but once you have those settings dialed in, you're not gonna be changing this much. So take that for what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into my uh, camera right now so you can hear the audio for at least the DJI, and I absolutely love that. So here we go. The audio that you're now hearing is coming from the DJI Mic 2 on my chest, so let's compare the mics. The size of the DJI mic is obviously a little bit larger than the uh, Hollyland, as you can see, and the magnet on the Hollyland is actually more functional, which I think is important. The magnet on the DJI mic 2 is so much smaller than the actual mic, if they had made it as large as this, it would have been more functional. I have actually taken to using the Go 3S magnet for their camera because the mic sits flush on that on my on my chest or under a shirt so it's not wobbling around which is what happens with this one it just kind of becomes top heavy and i don't love that or if you don't have it right it would be bottom heavy so don't do that okay i do like that the clip is built in for the dji mic 2 and my favorite thing about the mic 2 over the lark is going to be this wind muff as far as the mics go that is amazing okay I absolutely love that experience. I don't feel like I have a dead sea urchin stuck to my chest, which is where we're going with the Lark Mark II. All right, we're gonna go ahead and drop this back in. You can see that this magnet works quite well. I absolutely love the way that they did these little lanyards. I'm super excited about using this instead of the big Go 3S one. And I think it's just gonna look much more professional and more premium, but I don't love the dead sea urchin. So they give you like this little, you can obviously fold this in here. We're gonna go ahead and flip this guy. Basically what you do is you shove it in vertically and then just like stretch it over. I found that that's the easiest way to get it. It is a little finicky, but once you're there, you're good. And then there's the little arrow right there that lets you know that that's the microphone side. So you're gonna want it like this, okay? So if I was to connect this to my chest right here, we're just gonna go ahead and flip it under, pink. And now I have a dead sea urchin. You can't even see that, so it's there though, all right? And I, I'm not a huge fan of, of this puffiness. I really wish they had given us some smaller version of this, some other option. I don't know how you would have done it, but it would have been nice to not have something quite so large over this mic. Just something that was, you know, maybe like right there. Just my thinking, okay? And then they do give you these little clips here, which are nice. So that's gonna let you be able to connect that. So if I wanted to go right here onto my shirt like this, and then we could just drop that guy right there. All right, so that is, that's a very simple, nice connection point. And that kind of covers the main things. I like that this guy has stickers. I think that's fun. It's not functional, but it's fun, and fun is nice. I definitely like fun. Um, and obviously I can put one sticker, where'd the magnet go? I can put a sticker 
on each one, different stickers, just to keep up with which is which, and that's cool. So that is the, the main difference between all of the systems and the audio you've been hearing right now has been from the DJI mic too, so you can kind of take that for what you like. <clears throat> Overall, I think for a lot of things, I'm gonna be going with this Lark Mark II now, but because I use the Osmo Pocket 3, the Mic 2 is gonna be in a lot of my stuff. I haven't decided whether or not I'm gonna switch this filming setup, which I always use the Mic 2 for, over to this one, all right? And I was considering using one of these lanyards, because they give you two for this. It might be a direction that I go, I'm not sure. It's just kind of not quite, I think it would work actually, maybe. I don't know, it's, it's still not, not big enough for this whole thing, so probably not gonna go that route, all right? I hope this helped you kind of think through. What I can say is the audio quality on both of these, like I said, is almost undiscernible or indiscernible. So whichever one you get, you can get good audio out of them. At that point, I'd say save 200 bucks, go for this system, and I don't think you ever need to look back. I hope this helps you. Let's keep having fun, and I'll see you in the next one.